Hello fellow renegades, I decided to put together a compilation of all the story cutscenes in Hawked without all the extra stuff in between which has nothing to do with the story so you can watch it in one go without having to slowly reveal it over hours and hours of gameplay and then you can't really remember what came before etc. So you have it all in one sort of sweet short movie that you can watch anytime to remind yourself what you're actually doing as a renegade in Hawked. <laughs> so enjoy. Welcome to Exile. One might say it's the most dangerous place on Earth. So why would anyone ever come to this place? For treasures, of course. These treasures are more than just forgotten relics. They're powerful artifacts, long lost to humankind, until now. We are Grail. And we aim to recover the island's most valuable assets. But we can't secure these treasures alone. Enter the Renegades. Your job is to retrieve the island's treasure on our behalf. Away from the invasive horde we call Disciples. These beasts doomed a once mighty civilization. And they're hunting for something big. A grand artifact of legends. We're going to beat them to the punch, and every artifact you secure brings Grail one step closer. When it comes to exile, the score is simple. Get in, loot as many artifacts as you can, and then get out. The Glyphstone leads us across the world, to the very shores of exile. But the moment it stops serving Grail's navigational needs, they stuff it away in storage. Cynthia's annoyed I dragged it back out. I tried to tell her this dormancy is temporary. This stone is simply resting, restoring its power after guiding us on such a long journey. Mark my words, the Glyphstone has not finished showing us the way. Finding the island was just the beginning. But we can still do our part. As my trusted renegade, I ask you to explore exile from coast to coast. Complete encounters. Become the best adventurer you can be. When the stone awakens, we will be ready. I must tell you something, but you must not laugh at Bjorn. Before it fell into a deep slumber, the Glyphstone spoke to me. Do not call me crazy. I know what I heard. It told me to seek the heart of the island. So, while I may serve Grail, my true goal is to seek out this mysterious location, wherever it may be on the island. Here, it feels good to get that off my chest. Maybe I should tell the others. That is kind of weird. She would appreciate the tale of the talking rock. I know what you're thinking. Well, Bjorn, the heart of the island must be at the center of the island. First of all, I do not appreciate your imaginary tone. I'm not a fool. Of course, that is what I assumed. But have you ever used a compass on exile? The needle spins like a dog chasing its own tail. But that's not all. The island's fondness for defying the laws of time and space make it impossible for any of our cutting-edge tech to locate the island's true center. This is why we need the Cliffstone's guidance once more. And to prove to the others that the stone can speak, they will not believe me. Bodhi calls me crazy. I am not crazy!
That's all it took? One whack of your traverser and the glyph stone's back to life. You must have the magic touch, or cosmically charged anger issues. Surely this stone can help us uncover the island's most hidden treasures. My bosses will like that. I just have to get it to start speaking to me, like it has with our dear red-bearded professor. No doubt Bjorn is over the moon. Once again, he was right about something that makes absolutely no sense. Go congratulate him, would you? I need someone distracting him while I cancel his forced retirement party. It's all so simple! Traversers are energized with the same earth! What do you care? You didn't know you were channeling cosmic energy when you assaulted the Glyphstone! You just wanted to hit something! I can relate. Eh, good work. Now we must get the stone to commune with us. To do this, we require glyphs. I speak of the very glyphs found on the island, Renegade. Go! Plunder exile once more. Return to the stone when you've collected at least three glyphs. Yes, come, come. Present your traverser to the stone. Let us hear what my old friend has to say. The stone speaks, Renegade! But its message is not always clear. I've never had need of friends. Allies gathered for what's to come. <sighs> Long have I hidden my quest to find the heart of the island from this vessel of reavers. Uh, perhaps it's time that changes. Continue to gather glyphs to present to the Glyphstone. In the meantime, I will work on my... Uh, social skills. Do not believe what I am seeing. Is the monkey trying to fool me? Clam wrist your tail for that intel, Dr. Friendly. She ain't fooling nobody. What's the big idea? I'm full of big ideas. But at this moment, I am filled with even bigger questions. Like why are the disciples building a mural of the Glyphstone? I'll be. Seems you ain't the only one with a thing for shiny rocks this have to do with your, uh, heart of the island? And rituals shown on painted stone. You're searching for murals that depict rituals. Does this mean I finally get to help in Bjorn's search for the heart of the island? Or are you trying to steal a temple mural? Let me save you the hassle. I've tried. Way too big, way too... crumbly. But if you and Bjorn are hankering for a tour of Exile's funky frescoes, I'll be your guide. We'll start with a mural I call The Offering. Bjorn just yelled at me. Pretty terrifying, if I'm being honest. All because I broke one disciple mural. Doc's trying to be nice to us, bud. He's just real bad at it. He thinks if we do the rituals on those murals, the Glyphstone will guide us to the heart of the island. Aha! Well, lucky for us, I never forget a single thing I try to steal. The dance went something like this. Hands up like... Uh, no, that's not it. I'll figure it out. Bodie will work on his choreography, and Doc's putting together a Wondarium offering. I'm gonna build us some spears, but I need materials. Only one kind of lizard carries a weapon we can salvage for parts. Slab scales. Big grumpy fellas. Take a few down and collect the materials that I need. Dr. Bjornsson, slow down. There are rules we have to follow. Do you know how many forms are required to host a social event, let alone a ritual? It's fine, Cynthia. What could go wrong? It's just a little mystic ritual. Worst case, you get to see Bodhi do a silly dance. Worst case, we unleash unthinkable evil across the entire world, causing irreversible damage to humankind. 
Bah! I've read Grail's history. We used to push boundaries, explore the great unknown. All I'm asking is for one itsy bitsy ritual. So please, let's have an adventure! <sighs> okay, I'll gather the others and wait for this one to kick things off. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs>